Winslow Homer was an American artist who believed that art should be based on a direct observation of nature. He was born in 1835 and lived till 1910. He lived at a time when abstract art was very popular, but he didn't care about the modern theories of painting or current trends in art. He never paid attention to other artists, not even the famous ones in Europe. He wanted his art to be real, based on what he saw, or as he said, when I have selected the thing carefully, I paint it exactly as it appears. His early art showed pleasant scenes of life in rural areas of the country and during the Civil War. He was hired to illustrate scenes of soldiers, usually in their camp life rather than in the battles. Homer had always loved the ocean, so in the 1880s he moved to the coast of Maine where he could paint water scenes. He not only painted the sea itself, but also scenes depicting man against the elements that showed how powerful the water could be, especially during a storm. Later, Homer stopped painting human figures and just focused on the sea, often portraying harsh, stormy weather. When you look at his paintings, it seems like you can almost feel the spray of the churning waves, which is one of the reasons why Homer is known as the foremost American marine painter of all time. Winslow Homer is also one of the first artists to use watercolor paints for finished works of art. In the past, watercolors have been used in preparatory studies, but Homer's master handling of the medium elevated watercolors to a new height. His marine watercolors are brightly colored and luminous, filled with gorgeous depth of color from the deep blue lines of the water to the white patches of plain paper shining through. The fog warning was not a watercolor, but it still shows Homer's fascination with the sea and it definitely shows man against the elements. The painting shows a single fisherman rowing a dory with two or more large halibut weighing down the stern. Notice how the waves have picked up dangerously and the small boat looks almost vertical to us as viewers. We can see right into the boat. The diagonal lines of the boat draw our eyes up to the man who is turned to look back at the large sailing vessel in the distance. The diagonal lines of the ocean help carry our gaze to the distant ship, showing us where the fisherman longs to go. The fog creates another diagonal up from the ship that draws our gaze to the incoming cloud of fog that may prevent him from reaching that vessel if he is not quick enough. The dark patch of fog also seems to grow ominously at a point above the distant ship, with lines mimicking the position of the main dory. Even though the lines and shape create balance, the strong diagonals also provide the tension that reinforces the predicament of the lone fisherman. If the fog envelops the large ship, he will be truly lost and on his own in just a dory on a large empty sea. He might never get home. He must race against nature to reach safety. Through his use of diagonals, shapes, colors, and focus points, Homer was able to take us on this journey through the painting and tell his audience an entire story without saying a single word.